Welcome home, sweetie. This must be Matt. Oh, cop car. It's like I'm a perp, you know, and you're just, oh. <laughs> the series is kind of rooted in that, that uni nearly universal fear of going home and meeting the in-laws or bringing the partner home or or being just going a family home. member, <laughs> yeah, or, or going, going home, home in general. You're, you're very <laughs> yeah. right. I wonder if that was something that you guys have had experience with. Have you been on any side of that equation and had like a bad experience coming home th for the holidays? Oh yeah. yeah, well I've been there. You know, when you're going home to meet meet parents and uh, oh, yeah. you know, it's it's always. Awkward. <laughs> yeah, I would have to say I've I've been to girlfriends' homes for the holidays, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. we're we're not together anymore. <laughs> so so maybe it didn't yes. go as well. As His inner monologue is always <laughs> from the outside. Yeah, this has become yeah. a therapy yeah, session. Yeah, there's a lot of editing on this interview. Okay, please. It's it's turning into the therapy sessions. And... Yeah, I'm starting to think about everything. <laughs> Awkward. Well, Sorry, Jerry. Well, look who's here from Hollywood. Coming in for a hug. I'm a hugger. Okay. <laughs> You guys filmed this back in May, June, June early summer. July, part right? of the summer. Part of yeah. the summer. What's that? Is that a weird kind of trees don't exercise? last so long? Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> just yeah, look like a lunatic July. walking out in a Christmas sweater. A giant yeah, sweater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a little bit of uh, trying to find day? a Christmas tree in July? <laughs> it's true. Yeah, do you have to like? How do you get yourself in that? I guess like holiday mindset. Then is that something you really have to lock into, or is you it? You know just... what? They did a really good job on mm -hmm. the set of making it feel like every time you walked on set, it felt like the holidays. Yeah, so. Even the writer's room, Tucker, who created the show, even the writer's room had Christmas trees and Christmas lights and cookies. They really, yeah. we looked like a bunch of lunatics yeah, in the summer. Yeah. With For us. me to get in that holiday mood, I just, I just go out and find some traffic. <laughs> that puts me right in the holiday. That's great. That's and true. there's plenty of that around yeah. here. I just need to prove that I'm good enough. I'm sad. Any requests? Do you know the song Not Now by You? Everybody's got their favorite holiday songs, and I wondered what each of yours were. Rudolph the Red Nose. A classic. Were. Yes, a classic. Yeah. My cousin wrote it. Well, no, I didn't. Whoa, oh, no yes. way. Oh, yeah, thank God I wow. said I didn't like that. Or, you know, so yeah, I was, did, didn't yeah. say that. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you're Just like, dub it later. Hate Rudolph. No, <laughs> yikes. Have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. A classic like as well. That. Yeah. What makes those? He thinks those... Sinatra does, I love. <laughs> yeah, of course. Really what makes those What's like the second that? line of it? What? Have yourself a merry little Yeah, Christmas. I forget the name of the song. What's the second line? The Yule Tides. Is okay, that right? you're, you you forgot know. it. Yeah, I yeah. Did? <laughs> the Yule Tides, bro. I just like listening to Sinatra. It makes me feel like an old wise yeah, man. Yeah, no kidding. So I know that part of the fun of this this series is there's potential for more and more seasons centered around other holidays. Yeah. What beyond Christmas is like? Oh, the I rich, hope like, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I hope so. What holiday is gonna lend itself really well to this series as sort of family? Groundhog Day. Yeah. <laughs> no, they did that already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Groundhog Day. Then we could just do, do as many episodes as we wanted, right? That's true. Over, over, and, over, over and over. And over. It's a good way to trick us. Yeah, yeah. We could do four thousand. Well, we could do Fourth of July. Mm -hmm. We could do Super Bowl Sunday. If we did Thanksgiving, yeah, I'd be definitely yeah, fat there. Especially the Phillies in there. <laughs> the Queens are a G-rated cult. We have a sort of support group. Support group for what? The people who married into this family. What do you guys think of people potentially sitting down and binging this in one day? Is that going to be like holiday overload? Or We've already oh, had three people who came in yeah, there. Yeah, and said there that. There were journalists. The whole, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's I think that's Cold-hearted journalists that came in there and said that they hey, binge-watched this thing. I, uh, I, uh, Good, I really now they're gushing that. about it. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> it's infectious, the holiday cheer. So. It really is. And that's what I think this show does, too, is it, it's not just, you see the title, you see the poster, and you go, oh, this this seems like a very happy holiday family. Then you see me at the end of the couch looking miserable, and you realize <laughs> that this show, uh, anybody in any family can relate to it when mm -hmm. they're sitting down for the holidays because it has real conflicts and real problems in it. And Definitely. I think especially as a sitcom goes, you know, especially in this culture, we live in the, this world that multicam sitcom can't be funny, but as a comedian, to me, I still binge all the multicams yeah. and the one that this one has and the ones that I love is that it's the jokes are based off story not everybody being one line comics so you really yeah. follow the characters throughout the entire yeah. thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah well, great. I blacked That's... out what did I say no that was yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite day and I wanted to spend it with my loved ones and Matt 